Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Our lesson objective is to match the spelling and high frequency words from unit eight, week three, with photographs and video clips. The spelling words this week are going to have the sound er, er, er. It's going to be spelled a few different ways, but they will all have the sound er. There will also be a high frequency word The first word is spelled B-I-R-D, and it is pronounced bird. A bird is an animal that has feathers and wings, and they lay eggs that hatch. There are the kinds of birds you've probably seen in your backyard, like a sparrow or a blue jay. There are parrots swans, and penguins. All are different types of birds. The next word is spelled C-L-E-R-K, and it is pronounced clerk. And a clerk is a person who works at a store, and they can help you find things at the store, and they can help check you out when you're ready to pay for your items. That person is called a clerk. The next word is spelled E-A-R-T-H, and it is pronounced earth. If the E is not capitalized, this word can be a synonym for soil or dirt. If the E is capitalized, capital E-A-R-T-H, then it refers to our planet, earth. The next word is spelled F-I-R-S-T, and it is pronounced first. And if someone is first, that means that they're number one. So for example, the person who finishes a race first is the winner. You are all in first grade. That's number one of all the grades and it goes up through eighth grade, high school, college, and so on and so forth. But you have to start with grade number one, which is first. The next word is spelled H-U-R-T, and the word is pronounced hurt. And if somebody's hurt, that means that they are not feeling well. Uh, it could be a broken bone. It could be a scrape. But when you are not well, you may be hurt. The next word is spelled N-U-R-S-E. It is pronounced nurse. And a nurse is a person who helps you if you are feeling hurt or if you've been hurt. A nurse is a medical professional. It can be a man or a woman, and they usually work in a hospital and they help people who are sick or hurt to feel well. The next word is spelled S-E-R-V-E, -E, and it is pronounced serve. And the word serve is a verb, and if you serve, that means that you provide a service. So for me, the easiest example of this is a waiter or waitress in a restaurant. They serve you your food. They are providing a service. The next word is spelled S-H-I-R-T, and it is pronounced shirt. A synonym for shirt could be top, and it's an item of clothing that you wear on the top part of your body. The last spelling word is spelled T-U-R-N. It is pronounced turn. And if you turn, that means that you change directions. So you can turn either left or right, and that means that your direction is changing. The last word is our high frequency word, and it is spelled E-V-E-R-Y, and it is pronounced every. 
I would say a synonym for every is all. So for example, if I saw all of my students, I could say I saw every one of my students. I didn't leave anybody out. There was nobody that I missed. I saw every single one. Or if you say every rabbit has four paws, that means all of them. So I would think of the word all when you think of the word every. I have prepared a collection of photographs and video clips and you'll have about eight seconds to look at each picture or video clip and decide what spelling or high frequency word you think is being represented. After those eight seconds, the word will appear in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and I'll say the word aloud. Good luck identifying your spelling and high frequency words. Hurt. Bird. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you are feeling more confident about spelling these words. That's all that I have for you today, but I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.